what is going on everybody it's your boy phoenix here back with a brand new marvel spider-man 2 video and in today's video i want to talk about some more stuff that i have found that i believe who i officially think that venom is obviously going to be shit here we go again now there's a whole bunch of stuff out there that i really do think that lee price could be venom starting with the fact that the logo on venom's chest matches up perfectly with his design from the comic now if you guys do not know about lee price lee price accepted a job from scorpion to act as muscle for black cat's gang during an arms deal with tombstone's crew now i really do honestly think that this is probably going to play a huge factor because for one in the gameplay trailer we did see the fact that black cat and tombstone are both returning so what are the odds that we get that now, this could play for the fact that we already know that Scorpion's locked up in the raft. And what if there's a chance that Scorpion already did this whole entire thing and hired Lee Price before the events of Marvel Spider-Man 2? And what if there's a chance that Peter has already fought Scorpion's gang and Black Cat's gang and already dealt with Tombstone's crew, it seems like, in the first boss fight with him? What are the odds that during that whole entire fight, what are the odds that during that whole entire fight, what if Lee Price escaped Spider-Man in this universe? Now, the only way that I could potentially see it being Lee Price is for the fact, like I said before, the logo matches up and it just seems really, really, really strange. Cause like Insomniac has never, ever promoted their villain before. They did the exact same thing back in 2018 as well, whenever we thought that Mr. Negative was going to be the main villain because of the Raft mission. Now, I do not believe that's Harry, because for one, why would Insomniac mainly start promoting Harry out of nowhere like that? Now, I can understand where you guys are coming from, because Harry's been teased since the last two games. Harry's been teased since the last two games. So, I feel like since Brian did say that they want to have an original story, and it's their fresh take, what if it is Lee Price, the new host for a simulator in there? Because honestly, when you really think about it, we're supposed to be having two hosts, okay? It goes to Harry, is what I'm guessing. So it goes to Harry first. And after that, it goes to Peter somehow in some way. And after that, it straight up goes to whoever the new host is. Now, that new host, I honestly think that it is Lee Price. Now, what if Lee Price in this universe is Peter's neighbor and he has seen Peter swing back and forth between his house and New York and coming back? Now, another thing that could possibly be said about this is for the fact that what if Lee was one of the prisoners that got out of the raft? You know that whole entire scene in the story trailer where you see Negative dressed up in the raft uniform? What if Lee Price is one of the prisoners that got out? Now, another thing that can be said about Lee Price being those for Symbio is for a fact that this is where Scorpion is going to come into play. Now, we already know for a fact that the events of Marvel Spider-Man have an eight-year time jump. And uh, before that, there's a chance, you know, that whole entire scene in the raft where Peter has said that he's fought a lot of villains before. So what if Lee got hired by Scorpion to be the muscle for Black Cat's gang prior to the events of the first game? Now, for those guys who don't know what I'm talking about, there is a comic that Lee presses in where he is hired to be the muscle for Black Cat's gang by Scorpion. So... What are the odds that they could do that? Because Scorpion's not mentioned at all in the trailer. Like, he's not mentioned at all in the gameplay trailer on Craven's tablet. So, I think that that is very, very, very plausible for us to see Lee Price be the host for Venom. And on top of that, to mention, it goes along with Brian saying that it's an original story. So, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And it's been your boy Phoenix, and I'll see you guys later with our spectacular, spidey, webtastic banger.